Hello everyone, welcome back. So here I am going to explain another problem related to break-even analysis. So here I am going to calculate break-even point, PV ratio and margin of safety. And based on these three things, I am going to suggest which company is going to earn more profits. So let us see how to calculate these and we will suggest the profits. Following are the budgeted data related to Arun Limited and Mohan Limited producing the identical products. So here they are giving the information related to two companies which are producing the identical products. So let us see the information provided. So Arun Limited and Mohan Limited they are giving the sales. Sales of both the companies same that is 1,50,000 rupees and 1,50,000 rupees. Now from sales if you deduct total cost you will get the net profit. So total cost consists of fixed cost and variable cost. Variable cost for Arun Limited is 1,20,000. Fixed cost of Arun Limited is 15,000. Total will become 1,35,000. So total sales minus total cost will get the net profit that is 15,000. So in the same way for Mohan Limited also. So variable cost is 1 lakh, fixed cost is 35,000. So total 1,35,000. So sales 1,50,000 minus cost is 1,35,000 and the net profit is 115,000. So this is the information they have provided. And they are asking you to calculate break even points, PV ratio and margin of safety for each company. For both the companies, Arun Limited and Mohan Limited, we had to calculate break even point, PV ratio and margin of safety. And after calculating this, we have to explain whether which companies like to earn greater profits. So after calculating these three, we have to suggest which is the company is earning more profits in these two conditions. That is, if they are having high heavy demand of products and if they are having low demand of products. In these two conditions, which company is going to earn more returns or more profits that we have to suggest. So first we'll go for calculating all these three things that is the break even point, PV ratio and margin of safety. So after calculating this, then in these two conditions, we will say that which company will go for earning greater profits. Thing they are asking you to calculate is break even point. So we are calculating break even point in sales value. Normally we will use a formula of fixed cost divided by contribution per unit into selling price for calculating break even point in sales value. But here in this problem we have not given with the contribution and we are also not having the selling price per unit. So we will consider this formula for calculating the break even point in sales value. The formula is fixed cost into sales divided by sales minus variable cost. So for both the companies by using this formula we will go for calculating the break even point in sales. So first we will go for calculating for Arun Limited. So for Arun Limited fixed cost is 15,000 into sales is 1,50,000 divided by again sales 1,50,000 minus variable cost is 1,20,000 so now now 15,000 into 1,50,000 so the answer for Arun Limited will become rupees 75,000 so that is break even point in terms of sales value for Arun Limited is 75,000 in the same way we will go for calculating for Mohan Limited also so for Mohan Limited the fixed cost is 35,000 into sales is 1,50,000 divided by again sales 1,50,000 minus variable cost is 1 lakh. So now the value of break even analysis in sales point for Mohan Limited is so the value is 1,5,000 rupees. So now we calculated break even point in sales value for unlimited and Mohan limited. So next they are asking you to calculate the PV ratio. So next they are asking you to calculate is profit volume ratio. The formula for profit volume ratio is sales minus variable cost by sales into 100 so we'll get the value of pv ratio in percentages so let us go for calculating pv ratio for both the companies so first arun limited 
sales is one lakh fifty thousand. Minus variable cost is one lakh thirty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. Divided by again sales is one lakh fifty thousand. So it will become thirty thousand divided by one lakh fifty thousand into hundred. So the answer you will get is zero point five. Zero point five into hundred. So the PV ratio will become fifty percent for Arun Limited. So in the same way, we'll go for calculating for Mohan Limited also. So Mohan Limited sales is one lakh fifty thousand, and variable cost is one lakh divided by one lakh fifty thousand into hundred. So we'll get fifty thousand divided by one lakh fifty thousand into hundred. So the answer is zero point three 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 three. You'll get into hundred. We'll get thirty-three point three three percentage. So we also got the PV ratio for both the companies. So next they are asking you to calculate margin of safety. So this we have to go for calculating margin of safety. So the formula for margin of safety is actual sales minus break even sales. So with this formula we can go for calculating the margin of safety. So now actual sales means that is the sales given in the problem. So for our unlimited the sales is one lakh fifty thousand minus break even sales means the sales which are calculated in break even point. So we have calculated is seventy five thousand rupees. So now. The remaining sales will become margin of safety that is rupees seventy five thousand and Mohan Limited. So the actual sales given in the problem is one lakh fifty thousand minus break even sales we have calculated is one lakh five thousand. So you will get the value of rupees forty five thousand as the margin of safety. So we have calculated the margin of safety also. So the first point is completed. That is calculation of break-even point, PV ratio, and margin of safety is completed. So now we have to suggest whether which company is earning greater profits in case of heavy demand of the product and in case of low demand of the product. So how we can go for suggesting that we will see. So now we will see which company is earning higher profits. So in case of heavy demand, the Mohan Limited will go for earning higher profits because Mohan Limited is having the higher PV ratio. So if the company is Mohan Limited is having heavy demand, then the sorry in in case of heavy demand for the product, Mohan Limited will earn higher profits because its PV ratio is higher. If the case, if the product is having low demand, then the Arun Limited will go for earning higher profits because the break-even point is very low and margin of safety is high. So we can say that in case of higher demand, Mohan Limited will earn higher profit. In case of low demand, Arun Limited will go for earning higher profits.